Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now I want to talk about the A54 5G and the A15 5G from Samsung. I want to compare um, compare them side by side. Um, the A54 5G has the uh, Exynos 1380 processor and the A15 5G has the Dimensity 6100 Plus. Now the A55, A54 5G was released about a year ago in March and there should be a new updated version of this device uh, coming out soon, maybe within the next you know few weeks. Uh, the A15 5G is the updated version of the A14 5G. Um, if we look at them side by side, you can see that the size is similar. The camera display looks similar. Um, this one is a little bit more premium. It has the glass back, uh, shiny. Um, this one here has a plastic back, but it looks kind of like a matte finish. Um, I would say that the A15 5G is a little taller, but also has bigger bezels. So I think you're going to get a better screen ratio on this one. Let's turn them over to the front and um, see what they look like. All right, so let's go ahead and start them up. All right, so as you can see here, uh, they both have really beautiful displays. And I always said that the selling point of the A15 5G is the beautiful AMOLED. Um, for $200, you're not going to find too many phones with an AMOLED display. Um, one of the reasons that I used to uh, love the OnePlus Nord N20 was because of the beautiful display. Um, I think that this phone has surpassed that. Um, and it has a 90 hertz uh, refresh rate. Here we have 120 hertz refresh rate on the A54 5G. Very smooth, smooth like butter. Um, but as far as refresh rate is concerned, you're not going to really tell a huge difference between either one of them side by side. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn these phones off and I want to do a speed test. So let's just go ahead and shut them off and see which one powers off first. Alright, so as we power them off, we're going to go ahead and turn them back on. Count of three. One, two, three. Alright. Now, with the A54 5G, you're getting the Exynos 1380 processor, which is a, you know, it's a mid-tier processor. Um, here, you're getting a budget processor, which is the uh, Dimensity 6100 Plus. It's still very good. Now they're both uh, Metro by T-Mobile originally, so. All right, let's see uh, which one. Okay, so we've got to the home screen faster here. It looks like the A54 5G is gonna win that battle. So that's going to be a winner here. A few seconds. But it's not a big deal. Now the difference in price, you're looking at about 400 for this one. And you're looking at 200 for this one. I've seen this one for as low as 350 on Amazon. Um, but like I said, you can get this on Metro by T-Mobile for $49.99. Um, or you can get this one for free. So it's a $50 difference. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Start running some apps here. All right, let's go to uh, phone. One, two, three, go. All right, so that was clear winner for the A54 messages. A54. Right, let's go camera. That's A54. It's kind of blazing right through it. Play Store, A54, all right, I think there's no question here the A54 is winning, Google, and it's going to be the A54, all right, let's get that out of the way, all right, let's go to, uh, let's 
go to Facebook. One, two, three, go. All right, it's going to be the A54. All right, let's go to... Uh, Let's see what else we're going to go to. Let's check out the N22 benchmark here. And once again, it's the A54. So the A54 wins in every category. And it's not even close. So, and look at the scores here. We have 594,470. Uh, here we have 364,961. And the big difference here is going to of course be the CPU and the GPU and the extra RAM you can tell the difference between the extra RAM and um, the graphics card everything here you can tell that you know, this phone is far superior here than this one but it's also almost double the price so um, but these numbers are still fairly good as I had explained before, that, you know, this phone was out maybe three, four years ago. This could have been, you know, a flagship contender just by um, the vitals, you know. So um, this is still a very good phone, but it's just that the phones have just evolved so much now that, you know, these mid-tier processors are now like pretty much like flagships. And these, you know, budget ones are now like mid-range. So either way, I mean, the preference is going to be pretty much your budget. But there's no doubt that the A54 5G is a much faster phone and uh, no lag. Um, you will get stutters here. Now, the problem here with this one is that this is the, the U.S. version. only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. And if you buy this phone internationally, you'll get 8 gigabytes of RAM. So Samsung cut back on the RAM on this device, which, you know, it's kind of lame. But it is what it is. Now, another thing that this phone excels over this one is the haptics. The haptics on this phone when you're typing are bunk, man. They are terrible. That's one of my biggest features that I dislike about this phone is the haptics. So let's say like, you know, you're typing, you know, and we just type whatever, you know, good morning, whatever. Um, the thing is, it's, it's very hollow and it has this really odd vibration. So I'm not a fan of the, of the haptics here. Uh, with this one, when you type on the haptics on this device, the haptics are smooth like butter, and they feel strong, they feel powerful. So I'll just say, good morning. Very nice, very nice. Very, it's, it's a pleasure to type on this phone, not so much on this phone. And I think when you're sending a lot of messages and texts, typing is very, very important. And um, this phone just destroys, it just blows this phone out of the water. The haptics on this phone are better than the Samsung S21 FE. One of the best haptics of any phone that I've ever actually owned. So this phone right here, haptics wise, is better. Um, performance is better. Um, the screen is better. I mean, it's 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 a better quality glass. Uh, this is a Gorilla Glass. This one's not. But, like we're talking about price point here. I mean, this is still a very nice phone. But when you're comparing it to this one here, this one will blow it out of the water. Now, let's look around here. Now, the benefits of this phone over this phone, this one has a headphone jack, which is awesome. This one doesn't. So, if you like to use headphones instead of wireless, this phone is the one for you. Um, this one doesn't have a headphone jack. This one does have water resistance. This one doesn't. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, Try opening up a game here. All right, let's go to. Uh, I got addicted to this a, a, a hockey game here. Let's go ahead and start that up. One, two, three, go. Now, gaming surprising is actually really good on this phone. Well, of course, it's gonna be a lot faster here, but you can see that it's not big of a difference. All right. I'm gonna get out of there. All right, just close.
Now the screens on both of them are really good. You can't really tell the difference here. But just look at the loading. Now you see the frame rate here. It's got some stutters. And this is smooth as butter. So. So this one does have some, uh, some, some frame rate issues. All right, let's get back here. And um, let's get back to the game here. Sometimes it does that. See, sometimes it will freeze up. You see, this one over here doesn't have any freezing issues on the left. So you do see that. So you see that it does have some issues when you're gaming. See, sometimes, see that? You know, it does have some issues. See, so, so it does have some gaming issues, guys. So I would not recommend this phone for a gamer. See that? So now it's like, okay. So now, now we're kind of stuck in here. You see that? So I hope this answers your question as far as gaming. You see, it's kind of frozen now. Now it's just frozen. And this one is still going over here. So let's go ahead and get this back to the home screen here. All right. All right, so see that? So there's no, there's no question. This is not a phone for gamers. And uh, this one is still holding, still good. So no question which one of these two phones are better, um, without a doubt. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you have any other uh, things you guys want me to cover, let me know too. Um, and uh, until next time, um, see you soon.